Good Sunday morning and welcome to a special edition of Inside Tennessee along with my colleague Robin Wilhoyt. I'm John Becker and our focus this morning is on a shooting that has captured the attention of East Tennessee. We will get into the nuts and bolts of a manhunt as well as the future for a suspect who is accused of shooting and killing one deputy and wounding another in Blunt County. But first we hear from family, friends, strangers who earlier this week remembered the life of that Blount County deputy. Today is our chance to say thank you. A thank you from the community and from friends. We met almost 20 years ago at work. They called him Little G, they called me Big G. I don't know why ain't neither one of us buff of, above five eight. For a deputy who decided to serve late in his life. Thank you, family. From the bottom of my heart, I love you. The motorcade to the church stretched for almost 10 miles. Oh, say can you see? The service included connections to the last two East Tennessee deputies killed in the line of duty. A recording of Deputy Shelby Eggers singing the national anthem began the service. Investigators say that deputy was also shot when Gregory McCowan was killed last week. The recording is from Knox County Deputy Tucker Blakely's funeral last October. His family was also in attendance. On behalf of a grateful nation, grateful state, grateful community. And in a tradition started in Loudoun County in 2022, the sheriff and members of Deputy McCowan's family each received a flag. Draped our fallen deputy, Greg McCowan. That was once draped over his casket. Friends told us about McCowan at work and out of work. Needed a pair of slides, cargo shorts, and a muscle shirt. You were set to go. As the community said its final goodbye. I wasn't shocked to find out what had happened. But in fact, I can't think of another way that he would have wanted to go out. That memorial tribute and service unfolding on Wednesday of this week. We are joined by two men to give us some perspective on what's ahead in this case and also uh, the anatomy of a manhunt. For that, we turn to U.S. Marshal David Jolly appointed to that position here in the Eastern District. Good to see you, Marshal, and it's all uh, you've been a focus of this case for uh, a number of days now, so we'll get to that in a minute. Also with us, Don Bosch often serves as a panelist, but in this case, we're using you as a legal analyst, a longtime uh, lawyer in this town. Thank Good you, morning. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thank you. Marshal, thank you for being here. We know it's been a very long week. Uh, first off, so many people have heard of marshals, the marshal service, but may not understand clearly what it is and what marshals do. Explain to us. The United States Marshals Service uh, has a few very important duties. Uh, the one that we're most known for is fugitive apprehension, and that's, uh, I'll tell people sometimes, that's the kind of the sexiest part of the job. That's what they make movies about. And then there's the other duties that people don't hear much about and we're over responsible. I tell people a lot of times we're kind of like the sheriff's department of the federal government. So anybody that's arrested on the federal level is brought to the U.S. Marshals, <clears throat> booked into our office and, and held, taken to court by deputy marshals. So part of our operation is prisoner operations. Uh, we're housing prisoners during the, we're responsible for the prisoners from the time they're arrested. If they're uh, held in custody during the pretrial process. They stay with us. We don't own jails like sheriffs, but we lease that uh, out from usually county jails and uh, other types of detention facilities. So, uh, and you know, we usually have several hundred prisoners at any given time that are going through the pretrial process up until they stay with us all the way through sentencing until they're designated to the Federal Bureau of Prisons and then there we uh, turn them over to the BOP. So that's that's a part of it all asset forfeiture. So anything that's seized on the federal level that's going through uh, boats, planes, properties, all those type of things, we're responsible for handling auctioning off if they're, uh, you know, it's released to the government, determined to be, to, you know, that the government re receives that. So uh, uh, we also work threats against the federal judiciary, which uh, currently is uh, 
gigantically on the rise mm -hmm. over the last several months. So many threats on judges right now. And it's actually draining my manpower quite a mm -hmm. bit just because we're having to supply deputy marshals from our district to for national details in Washington and other places. Don, we're going to get to your legal analyst uh, side on this case in a moment. But first, um, Marshall, you offered a big picture during our press conference earlier this week that we took on our air to break down kind of where you were <coughs> in this case in this manhunt for Mr. DeHart. It lasted more than five nights. Um, explain the role that the marshals played and also the cooperation you said you saw from all the agencies involved? Well, the, the marshals were the lead agency on the fugitive part of the case. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation was working the other parts of the case and assisting us in the fugitive apprehension, particularly with their analysts were very helpful. A lot of tips coming in, so a lot of information coming in that we were gathering and to be able to sort through all of that. The analysts were from all the different agencies played a, a key role in helping us through the uh, helping all the investigators. So we were the lead on that piece of it as far as the we were the fugitive investigation. You're seeing video of the arrest there and we're going to talk more specifics on this case in the future for Mr. DeHart again with the Marshal of the Eastern District here in East Tennessee and also Don Bosch our legal analyst. We're going to take a quick break on Inside Tennessee back on this Sunday morning right after this.